One of the most dramatic sports stories of 1964 was played out over the long course of the Congressional Country Club in Washington, where America's top golf pros contested the National Open. Arnold Palmer, bidding for the Grand Slam of golf, tees off on the grueling 36-hole final day. Ken Venturi, who hasn't won a tournament in many years, starts off on a birdie binge by rolling the ball up to the cup on number one, then waiting it out until it drops in for his first bird. This final day is expected to be a dogfight between Arnie Palmer and Tommy Jacobs. Jacobs is the leader as he dumps in a six-footer for a par on the seven. Near collapse from the heat at the end of the first 18, Venturi comes back to finish the front nine in even par with his beautiful birdie putt on nine. Arnie Palmer has almost the same problem and doesn't make it. Venturi leads Jacobs by two strokes and Palmer has been unable to gain ground on either of them. Venturi plods toward the 72nd and final green, still in the lead, but the crowd wonders if he can make it. Ken is suffering from heat exhaustion. Venturi's ball has found a trap at the edge of the 18th, but he pulls himself together in true championship style to hit a beautiful shot. Venturi's left himself with a 15-foot putt for his par. Ken sends it home to finish in style. In one of the greatest comebacks of this or any year, Venturi moves boldly out of the shadows and into the sunlight to capture the most coveted crown in golf, the United States Open. The 59th U.S. Open Golf Championship on the Wingfoot course at Mamaroneck, New York. An early downpour delays the start of the third round two hours, but the sun is still shining on Ben Hogan. <laughs> Sneed, another crowd favorite, makes a strong bid with a 67 in the third round. But the steadiest putter in the field is Bill Casper, paunchy dark horse from Apple Valley, California. Casper, after a second round 68 that put him in the lead, shows no sign of folding under pressure as he gives Parr another try. Here he is on the 17th green. Suddenly, another Californian, Bob Rosberg of Palo Alto, decides to cut himself in on the contention. Ooh. Rosberg scores a 67, tying Sneed for the best round of the tournament and moves up among the leaders. Claude Harmon, the host club pro, is also hanging on. Watch this one. But at the round's end, Casper is still up there. That's a 69 and puts Casper three strokes ahead with 18 holes to go. Another violent storm strikes and the last round is delayed until Sunday. High winds sweep the course as they start the stretch run. Hogan starting at 211, three strokes behind Casper. Casper, the man in front. Mike Suchak, 213, still a possibility. Rosberg, very much in the picture. And Sneed, still seeking the one big title he hasn't won. Gale winds add to the hazards. Hogan and Sneed gradually drop back as it develops into a three-way struggle. While Casper fights to hang on, Suchak and Rosberg come on with strong challenges. Here's Suchak at the next to last hole, still chasing Casper. <laughs> Rosberg needs a birdie to catch up, but this is as close as he can come. Wow. 
Casper is still in command as he comes to the final hole. The stout pro from the Golden Slope finishes with 282, two over par for the tournament. Just enough to beat Rosberg out by one stroke. It's a $12,000 triumph for Bill Casper, and that's only the beginning of what the title is worth to an open champion. A happy day for the California couple.